Hey everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. You know, some guitars just want to be played. You know, this guitar, I gotta tell you, this is one really, really rocket guitar. I really love this thing. Haven't really played it that much since uh, I got it back from the tech. Uh, this is a 1976 Univox. It's a model TV2-R. And uh, we've got all kinds of access to catalogs and stuff, so we can, can tell you what the models are and all that. So I'm really happy that we've got guys that help us with that and, and with catalogs and all that. But it's actually a TV2 R, which I thought was pretty cool. These were made in mahogany, they were made in walnut, and like this one, it was made in red wine. So you had three colors that you could choose from. This was uh, Univox's uh, Les Paul SG uh, style with the dual P90s uh, that, you know, it looks a little bit like a Gibson, wouldn't you say? I mean, you know, that's why all the uh, lawsuits uh, came about. I don't know if this is the one that had lawsuits, but anyway, it looks a lot like a Gibson. It plays like any Gibson I've ever played. I mean, these things are just awesome. I love these 70s uh, uh, Japanese guitars, and uh, this one was in horrible shape when I got it. I mean, it was almost like, are we going to be able to save that one? We took the pickups out, and uh, uh, actually, uh, we didn't have to rewind them. We just had them uh, looked at and checked out and cleaned up by uh, uh, Brett at uh, Mojo Works. And thanks, Brett. These pickups sound fabulous. Uh, we cleaned the body up. It's got all kinds of finish crazing. Uh, the, the finish has raised um, in certain areas. This is pretty heavy. Uh, finish crazing on this. You can f actually feel it. A lot of times you can't feel it. You can feel it in, in so they sprayed these pretty heavy. Um, but the original knobs, original pick guard, original um, pickups, and uh, Brian was just mentioning, he says, wow, look at that cover on there. I go, yeah, I know. Someone really played this guitar hard, uh, and they actually scratched the paint off of this. I, I considered respraying it, and I went, no, no, let's just leave that alone. This is part of the providence of, of this guitar. Uh, the pick guard was still uh, in, in place. We didn't have to replace that. I was happy about that. Uh, original nut, original, original truss? No, I replaced that truss rod cover. I, I need to point that out. I remember now it did not have a truss rod cover. I found one that looked pretty good on there. I put that one on there. Looks a little bit like a Gibson, doesn't it? Um, anyway, uh, tuners were original, uh, back plate, uh, I think Jeff the Tech had to make a back plate, we didn't even have a back plate on it, but the uh, neck uh, plate was on here, strap button was on here, and it was just filthy, filthy dirty, uh, we cleaned up the frets, the frets were in really nice shape, uh, but uh, Brian was even remarking, he goes, you know, there's a little bit of uh, smoke smell here. I go, yeah, this guitar definitely spent some time in some juke joints. So uh, it was definitely a player. I have no idea who owned it. Couldn't tell you where it came from. It showed up. So, and I was happy to get it because I think it's really cool. The other thing I wanted to point out, though, is uh, the, the uh, tailpiece bridge system was just I mean, it had bent over. I mean, it was just, it was shot. And it was just no way to salvage it. Uh, we got rid of it and replaced it. So we have a brand new um, uh, uh, intonatable. So it's got the little uh, things on it, which the other one had also, but it, it was gone. So we placed that. So we got a new piece in here, which you're going to want anyway, because now it'll stay in tune. But gosh, these pickups. <laughs> on the neck. As you know, if you watch any of my demos, got to have a good neck. That thing is still ringing. Uh, it's, it's still ringing. Uh, you have to have a good neck pickup for a lawman to keep a guitar. It just, it, if it's got a weak pickup, forget about it. I'm just going to pass it by. <laughs> That sounds good. Let's go to the middle between the two.
all the way to the back. This is a really good guitar. Uh, it has a 25 inch scale neck, a 1 and 11 16 inch nut, which is one I like. I mean, my hand's a little smaller. I, I like a little narrower nut. It doesn't weigh much. It only weighs 6 pounds, 14 ounces, so it's under 7 pounds. So, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, a laminated body, but it's it's all wood. I mean, that that is one solid hunk of, of mahogany on this thing. And it just, gosh, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> Cool, cool guitar. Um, we did not get a case with it. However, oh, thank you, Brian. However, we had a really cool case that we've been saving. Uh, Brian says, how, how do you know what cases to get? It's like, well, sometimes you just get lucky. Uh, but the other time is when you have like 300 guitar cases, there's usually one that's going to fit uh, for what you're trying to do. Uh, this would be, oh, it could be an 80s case. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, but it has this really cool blue interior, which I thought was really neat with that red wine. Still got a, uh, uh, that's made in Canada. Oh, oh, Canada. Um, and uh, like I said, you can smell, this one's been around a little bit too. Um, but uh, so yeah, if you have some aversions uh, to, to smoke, you may not want to uh, hook into this one. But I'll tell you what, you'll overlook it from how that guitar sounds and plays. Wow. So you get this really cool hard shell case that we're putting with that guitar. You get that unbelievable Univox TV2R Les Paul SG style with those super hot, gosh, those P90s just, gosh, they blew me away. I couldn't believe it. Uh, just a blast to play. Whoever gets that guitar is going to thank me profusely. So I hope you are the one uh, watching this right now that says, that's the guitar for me. So check it out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And hey, while you're here in YouTube uh, land, why don't you hit subscribe to Lawman Guitars and you will see these every month. Uh, subscribers uh, don't have to look for me every month. They just pop up and they go, hey, Lawman's got some more guitars to look at. So you don't have to search me out each month. Every month, every month, Five new guitars, so we're getting ready for next month already. And uh, you do this, uh, we've just done what, three or four right now? We got a couple more to go. So, yeah, uh, there's more to come. And if you're a subscriber, you get to be part of the club. You get to see them all the time. So, check out our guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. I was just telling Brian, we were on LinkedIn now. You know, I got a whole bunch of people following us in LinkedIn, which is kind of cool. And we do Instagram and Facebook. And you, all you got to do is Google Lawman Guitars. If you can't remember anything, just remember Lawman Guitars and hit Google. You'll find me. We're all over the place. So, hey, appreciate you all. Appreciate all the support I get from my customers and people who are following me. Thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Thank you so very much.